Nasser Hijazi, nicknamed the legendary goalkeeper, was an Iranian football player and coach who most notably played for Taj Estel al Tehran. Considered as one of the best goalkeepers in the history of Iranian football in Asia, he was capped 62 times for the Iran national football team. In 2000, the Asian Football Confederation ranked him the second best Asian goalkeeper of the 20th century. He was goalkeeper of Iran national team in 1960s and 1970s and won the AFC Asian Cup on two occasions in 1972 and 1976, an Asian Games title once, and competed in the 1972 Munich Olympics and 1976 Montreal Olympics and 1978 FIFA World Cup. As a manager, he won an Azadegan League in 1998 and a Bangladesh League in 1988, as well as a runner-up place in AFC Champions League in 1999. Early life, Hijazi was born on December 14, 1949 in Tehran, Iran. His father, Ali Akbar had a real estate agency in Tehran and was an Iranian Azerbaijani from Tabriz. He was admitted to Alamut Tabata Bay University in 1977. He was later enrolled in Nader FC in 1964 and played for club until 1965. After that, he signed a contract with Taj Tehran and started his career in a professional club. Club career, Hijazi was the goalkeeper of the Taj Tehran and Iran during the 1970s. Hijazi first broke into the Taj side when he was only 18 years old and while a member of the now defunct Nader FC. He won the Asian Club Championship in 1970. He also won the Iranian League in 1971 as well as 1975 and was positioned second in 1974. Further on, he won the Hazi Cup in 1977. In summer 1977 he changed the club joining Shohbaz Tehran, trying to win the TAKHT Jamshid Cup 1977 a Euro 78 with his famous national teammates Golem Hossein Mazlumi. Nasrallah Abdullahi, Ebrahim Ghazampour and Hamid Majd Taimouri. So it was a tremendous surprise, that Shohbaz could only reach the 11th place. In the following year Shohbaz was leading the ranking in the season 1978-79, when in autumn 1978 a euro due to the political uprisings, which ended with the Iranian Revolution in February 1979 a euro the season was cancelled. After the 1978 FIFA World Cup, Hijazi received an offer from Manchester United. He trained and played with the club for a month, even appearing in a reserve match against Stoke City. Manchester United manager Dave Sexton wanted Hijazi to stay for another two or three months before officially signing a contract with him, but there was no one at the IRFF at the time of the Iranian Revolution to arrange the extension, which led to Manchester United signing Gary Bailey instead. Hijazi remained as Estelle's main goalkeeper until 1986. There he won the Tehran Provincial League in 1983 and 1985 and the runners-up position in 1982. His last station was the Bangladeshi club Mohammedan in Dhaka, where he stayed for one year and could win his last league title. International career Hijazi joined up with the Iran national team just in time to feature in the squad that won the Asian Cup in 1968 and picked up two more in 1972 as the first choice and 1976 as the second choice goalkeeper. He also represented Iran at the 1972 Munich Olympics and reached the quarter-finals of the football tournament at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal. In 1974, he had a key role in Iran's victory in the final match of the football tournament of the Asian Games in Tehran. Hijazi's most valued tournament was the 1978 FIFA World Cup in Argentina, where he participated as Iran's starting goalkeeper. He was the captain of the national team during the 1980 Asian Cup and played his last match for Iran in the semi-final match versus Kuwait. After the tournament, a member of Iran's physical education department implemented a policy in which athletes older than 27 years of age would no longer be allowed to compete internationally. Hijazia was effectively forced to retire from international football back then, in spite of being only 29 years old at the time of implementation. Equals international caps equals. Managerial career, Hijazi coached Bangladeshi football club Mohammedan from 1987 to 1991. During his time, 
Bangladeshi football was enlightened with the modern-day technique of football and embraced top football coaching. The Bangladeshi Football Federation rewarded him by making him national team coach in 1989. During the 1990s, Hijazi was the manager of a number of football clubs including the Mohammedan SC, the Estelle and Estelle Athers. During his tenure with the Estelle, Hijazi won the Iranian League in 1998, then took the club to the final match of the Asian Champions League in 1999. They were beaten by the Jubilo Iwata in Tehran. During his years as a coach, Hijazi was the first to discover several talented Iranian football players, including Rahman Rezae and Zobahan and Alireza Akbarpour and Mashin Sazi Tabriz. In early August 2006 Hijazi announced he signed a one-year contract as head coach of Azadegan League outfit Nasaji Mazandaran. He resigned from the post in January 19, 2007. On August 5, 2007, he was appointed as head coach of Estelle for a second time but he was sacked by club in November 8, 2007 because of bad results after 14 matches. Honours equals Player equals Club, Estelle, Asian Club Championship 1970, Iranian Football League, 1974 Euro 75, Tehran Provincial League, 1982 Euro 83, 1984 Euro 85, Mohammedan, Dhaka League. 1986 Euro 87. International, Iran, Asian Cup, 1972, 1976, Asian Games, 1974. Equals Manager equals, Mohammedan, Dhaka League, 1987 Euro 88, 1988 Euro 89, Estelle, Iranian Football League, 1997 Euro 98. Political Career Equals presidential candidacy equals, on November 3, 2004, Hijazi announced his nomination for 2005 presidential election. He was rejected by the Guardian Council of the Constitution of Islamic Republic of Iran, arguing his lack of political career prior to the election. Later on, he became a supporter of Ali Akbar Hashimi Rezanjani. In 2009 presidential election, he supported Mir Hossein Mausavi. Equals opposition to Ahmadinejad equals, he was an opponent to the economic reform plan of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's government. In April 2011, he made a statement regarding the plan, I'm very sorry for our people, they have oil, petroleum and. But some of them are poor. It is known that after this comment, he was unofficially banned from Iranian television network. This was later revoked due to his popularity and the perceived side effects that could have come from this decision. Personal life, Hijazi married Bainaz Shafi in 1973. He became father of two, one daughter, Atusa and one son, Atala, who both grew up to play soccer just like their father. Atala has been playing in Estelle from 1997 to 2004 and Atusa was the captain of Iran national women futsal team. Atusa is married to an Iranian retired soccer player Saeed Ramezani who formerly played for Zobanan, Sepahan and Fouilad in the Iran Pro League. They have a son named Amir Arsalan. Cancer struggle and death, Hijazi was diagnosed with aggressive lung cancer in late 2009. While trying to resume normal daily activities as a coach, his illness forced him to be hospitalized. Hijazi went into a coma on May 20, 2011 as he was watching the match between Estelle and Pahamid and soccer teams in the final week of the Iran Pro League. In May 23, 2011, after being unable to recover from a stroke, he died at 10.55 a.m. in Kasra Hospital in Tehran. His funeral was held on May 25, 2011 in Azadi Stadium in western Tehran and his body was buried in the beheshd e Cemetery in southern Tehran on the same day as his final resting place. More than 20,000 people attended his funeral. Hijazi's popularity went beyond Iran's borders as Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson expressed the club's sympathy for Hijazi's illness in April 2010. In a message President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad paid homage to Hijazi and characterized him as a renowned and good-tempered Iranian football figure who offered valuable services to national sport. Legacy Hijazi is considered by many to be the best Iranian and Asian goalkeeper of all time. 
Hijazi was a member of the all-conquering Iran national team of the 1960s and 1970s that won the Asian Cup a record three times in a row and represented Iran at two Summer Olympics as well as 1978 FIFA World Cup. After his death, it was proposed that a new stadium named after Hijazi would be built in Tehran. Estelle's training camp was also renamed to Hijazi Training Camp. References External links Official website